All right, welcome back, Costa 25 folks. Professor Almeida here. Hope that your weekend has been going well. It's a nice day to be out. And I want to talk about week three, which opens up this Monday at midnight. But before I do, uh, some housekeeping items. Most notably, you do have a due date coming up tomorrow, folks. Your chapter one guided and independent projects will be due tomorrow make sure that you complete them and also if you haven't had a chance take a moment to go into the success check-in and reply to the thread at this point i'm going to expect that you have full access to simnet okay and if you can't get access right away make sure that you sign up for temporary 14-day access okay you should have already done that by now but uh please reply to the success check-in thread that you are able to access the items in simnet by doing that you'll be able to unlock week three starting on monday okay if you don't check in with me week three is going to stay grayed out until you go back and visit the success check-in uh, as a matter of fact i made a recent announcement about that so Please go back, look at the recent announcement, and again, make sure that you uh, respond to the success check-in. All right, week three, starting on Monday, we are going to get into chapter two on using tables in design view. We'll also get into data validation and relationships. And this is very important because when you start to design your database, especially where tables are concerned, you don't want users to just be able to put in whatever they want into the records, okay? So you'll see some techniques that we use to uh, do some data validation so that you can ensure that the data that's being entered into the records is what you want, okay? So we'll visit that with uh, using design view and uh, you'll see this in action when we get to guided project 2-1. As a matter of fact, you'll see here's a walkthrough video for 2-1. Here's the guided project, and then you have an independent project. As before, take notes of whatever hints are given to you in guided project 2-1 because you're going to need it again for independent 2-5. And we're going to be following this same pattern for a couple of weeks, okay? You're gonna have your chapter training sim, a guided project, and an independent project. It'll pretty much be the same formula. As with all training sims, make sure that you complete the sim book on time. Don't leave these easy points on the table. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. It's a nice day to be out. Take care of yourselves out there. Let's make sure that we get our chapter one projects turned in on time. Thanks for watching and we'll talk again soon.